Hello everyone, my name is Fanja Purnama and let me darken my face for once and on this video I'll be using I'll be showing you how I bypass some censorship on the internet through my installed relay server so I'm now in back on vacation in my home country at Indonesia and I'm currently at the capital city of Denpasar in Bali and I set up my relay server in Kumamoto in my apartment where I have my router forwarding the dynamic IP the dynamic domain name servers and uh, the port forwarding <coughs> so I have a squid proxy server open VPN server and tor relay and bridge on that apartment and I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this my open relay to connect to some censored website so for example that my favorite one of my favorite manga site kissmanga.com and reddit I cannot connect so okay yes sorry some technical stuff just to prepare so my ISP is currently an XL which is a mobile provider in Indonesia it's called XL Oxiata and this is the IP the public IP address that I'm connecting at and region Bali Indonesia and I'm cannot I cannot access this site so here I'm in Linux and I'm using Kali Linux, a Debian operating system base. So I'm going to try uh, accessing them using my tree setup server. So the first one I'm going to try is using Squid. So Squid, you can go to your network where, okay go to wired settings and then here there is network proxy this one is automatic and set it to manual and this is the, the domain name of my server in my apartment and my squid port is 3128 set it like that so the how I set it up is on this video and now let me try to assess kiss manga and read it well I did I forgot to show you that I but anyway first this one I'm able to access reddit and kissmonga using my proxy server uh, I forgot to tell you that I set up what you call it yeah I set up a password for my proxy since I don't have enough bandwidth I can I don't have enough uh, don't have enough bandwidth to just allow everyone to access my server or else it will be down <coughs> now that's one so other than other than that your browser might have a, a built-in proxy settings proxy configuration for example Firefox so here I set it to use system proxy settings you use auto detect then it will not be using the system if using manual then you'll be using manual ignoring the system as well for Chrome and some other browsers they use directly from the system for example Firefox is using its own way okay so that is one how I bypass the the censorship here the next one is I will use OpenVPN. So in the network manager, I have a OpenVPN configuration, and the server is the same, and which I configure on this video. So make sure you get the certificate which I generated on the video here, and then okay just check all your settings and make sure check the advance and make sure that this settings is in synchronized with the server for example you use one a different port then make sure you use a custom port and set it 
and if you don't use an LZO data compression make sure that you disable it but if you use make sure that you enable it because uh, if there is a missynchronization between the client and the server you might not be able to communicate and that's that so now I will give a demonstration and then open and another thing is that you know, I still cannot bypass because of the DNS provided by this one provided by uh, my provider so even though <coughs> even though my IP address changes but I'm still using a DNS like this one so I change it to use the DNS on my local network and other than that I set my open VPN server okay so it's down to connect to the client in that area so therefore I'm able to connect to my router over there through the local IP address and but that's that now let's try to assess reddit then again as you can see I'm not able to assess reddit yeah I think I'm not able to assess reddit so the problem is with the DNS so if you're having the same problem make sure you delete this DNS or even safer just change it to an open DNS like Google's DNS and also make something about DNS on my block now let's try again Reddit and here it is once after I change my DNS I'm able to connect to Reddit again so for VPN make sure you remove the DNS set by the provider and use an open DNS so they have two way to block is through their router and one is through their DNS the domain name server and that's a demonstration for OpenVPN this yeah, I, I connect through my network manager but the classic way is to connect through where it is okay is to the classic way is to connect through using to install OpenVPN in your Linux PC as well so here I have an OpenVPN client the configuration method is the same if the server so but I name you just need to change the name the server to client so make sure that the the word client is available in your configuration to make it run as a client and after the net make uh, set the port and the remote and they open your open VPN server and make sure that you have the right certificates for the client and then to to use it all you need to do is systemctl start open VPN and then a client so this name it depends on the configuration name so this client.conf will be it will run the client configuration if you want to run a server or anything else you need to change this name so that is it for OpenVPN I need to demonstrate to save some time the last one that I want to demonstrate is my Tor relay although I'm able to connect to Tor already for example I'm able to connect to Tor just like this even without a real even without my relay and stuff I'm already able to connect because it looks like here or any or the world already have a strong the Tor have already a strong network and without my relay I'm already able to connect to Tor <coughs> and here I'm doing using a Tor browser for example this one so this one is already connected to Tor what is my IP I wonder if I'm able to assess this one from Tor
already let's okay so okay since I'm using this is my exit this is the exit relay so it's here so it's a Tor exit node well I don't know where it is but thank you for whoever set it up I don't have the authority yet or the power to set an exit relay so as you can see using Tor I'm able to connect but if you are unable to connect to Tor then if I'm able and unable to connect to Tor then first you need to connect to a bridge provide a bridge uh, and okay the IP address of the server unfortunately I tried using a domain name and it didn't work and the port the port is just 9001 and check the logs whether everything is okay and try again connect to reddit and then you can <coughs> and for example you set a wrong one like this check the logs new bridge is refresh and let's try again you should not be able to connect to anything if you set the bridge wrong even to DuckDuckGo I think mm, okay no 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 for example let's try And then 9001 and then view the logs as you can see error processing bridge address looks like I'm unable to use the DNS and when I will try to <coughs> to connect it will not work if you set your bridge wrong no <laughs> looks like it's automatic they are able to do anyway let's try search for reddit anyway it still works last time it didn't work probably it's automatically available but anyway if you if you cannot connect to Tor then you definitely need a bridge so that's how you connect in the Tor browser but in let's see but if you want to connect to the terminal okay um, just go to Tor and then technical setup I showed you in the previous video <coughs> and go to bridge and there's other stuff here I'm using a Debian base server oh and I forgot to show you in the previous video that I'm that I need to follow this step and finally on post installations if you want to use the terminal base make sure you put this one in your Tor C I think it's this one but I forgot the command but if you want to use the socks version then make sure you <coughs> make a configuration to use a bridge in the tor dot tor c I may be right I may be wrong but you can find it yourself so just put it here the IP address port and stuff this may be the wrong command but it should be similar to the one on the Tor browser except that you may need to get your fingerprint and some certificates and that's it that is it in this video I made I uh, showed you how I connect how I bypass censorship that is blocked by my ISP so I relay my connection to my 
release open release over in Kumamoto apartment and the three methods are the proxy open VPN and Tor and there may be other way such as a such as uh, I forgot but next time I'll make a later video so thank you for watching so this is the social media if you want to contact me and if you want to donate you can donate to my cryptocurrency address and thank you